The first thing you want to do with surface area questions is to identify your bases. So you can see that these are your bases right here. Your, they have to be congruent and parallel. Some of you may not see that right away, but if you were to turn it sideways, could you see it now? So it's the same thing. You just have to recognize that it's just laying on its side. And then we also want to find right away our height, which is the distance between the bases. So that would be that 12. Now it's really smart if you go ahead and just redraw your base and put in anything you know, because you're going to need that anyway. So your circumference is the first question, and that's the same, of course, as perimeter is for a polygon. So pi times diameter, we're going to estimate with 3 here. They told us to in the directions, so 3 times 8 is about 24. So that's our circumference, so C is about 24. All right. The other thing, well, let's go ahead and fill that in. So what is the circumference? 24, and of course it'll be in inches because our circumference is one dimensional. What is the height of the figure? The height is the distance between the bases, so we know our height is 12. It's also one dimensional. Alright, so now it's time to find the lateral surface area. So lateral surface area is your perimeter times your height. So we take our circumference, 24 times 12. And that equals 288. Now we're finding area, lateral surface area, so this is in square units. So 288 square units. What is the area of one base? Okay, so here's our circle again, and here is our diameter. So if our diameter is 8, that means our radius is 4. So to find the area of a circle, it's pi r squared equals, again we're going to estimate with a 3 times 4 squared, so 3 times 16 is 48. So that gives us one of our bases. So area of one base is 48 inches squared. This should have been inches also. All right, and now our total surface area. Now the nice thing is, if you are finding total surface area, it's your perimeter times your height plus two bases, which is really pretty close to what we just found. TSA equals your perimeter times your height, and that's what we just found with your lateral surface area, but this time we're going to add in our two bases. So we can go ahead and fill in our perimeter times our height, because we just did that, 288 plus... 2 times one of our bases, which is 48. So now we have 288 plus 96 equals three, oops, 384 inches squared, and that's your total surface area. Let's find the surface area of this triangular prism. First thing to recognize is that the triangles are your bases. Let's go ahead and redraw our base. Kind of have to look around for all of the pieces to this because they put them in different places, like at one end or the other. So here is our base, and let's find our perimeter. So the perimeter of the base is 5 plus 6 plus 5. See that right here, 5 plus 6 plus 5. So our perimeter is 16 inches. All right, the next piece we need to recognize is our height of our prism, which is the distance between the bases. So it's the distance between the two triangles. So our height is 10 inches. All right, our lateral surface area. Lateral surface area is your perimeter times your height. So our perimeter was 16, our height was 10. So our lateral surface area is 160 square inches. All right, what is the area of one base? So our base, to find the area of a triangle, this is where people miss it, is you gotta remember you have to take one half, little bh. So one half, and your base here is six, you know it's perpendicular to the height of the triangle, which is 4. 
So half of 24 equals 12. So now when we're finding our total surface area, oops, let's fill that back in, the area of one base was 12 square inches, right? Total surface area was our perimeter times our height plus two of our bases, because we have to pick up the triangle at the front and the back. So that's going to equal, here's our perimeter times our height was 160, no reason to do it again, oops, plus two of our bases, two times 12. So 160 plus 24, so our total surface area is 184 square inches.